And this is yet another elementary age student that was just caught in the crossfire, uh, not involved with this at all. You know, this happened earlier this week, too. A nine year old boy shot in his own home by a stray bullet. Uh, but in this case, police are investigating a six year old boy who was shot while sitting in his dad's car. He was hit throughout his body. Now, police found that vehicle. After a crash last night about 7 p.m., this is 55th in Baltimore, West Philadelphia. Three people were shot inside that car, including that six year old child, his father, as well as another man. And police say the 29 year old father died from his gunshot wounds to the chest. Meantime, that six year old son, he was rushed into surgery. He'd been shot in the stomach and shot in the back. The shooter, meantime, police believe was in another car firing wildly that then sped away. And at this point, nobody has been arrested. And not only takes it up a notch, but it just sickens me. It sickens all of us, and we're tired of seeing this, quite frankly. It's just sad all the way around. And, you know, we're dying. We're dying. This six year old child, just the latest victim, another chapter in the city's gun violence epidemic that seems to be getting worse by the day and impacting children at a rate not seen in quite a long time. This year, even worse than last. We did just learn that six year old boy is out of surgery. According to police, he's still in critical condition, but he has stabilized. For now, we're live at police headquarters. I'm Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News. Randy, you said it. It's 6.03, and the number of children shot in Philadelphia this year is staggering. That six-year-old boy is one of 55 children hit by gunfire in 2021. Think about that number. It's displayed perfectly here in this graphic. That's almost two full classrooms of students traumatized by gun violence, and it's only April. City leaders say communities need to work together with police to put an end to this before more children are hurt.